Alright guys, how's it going and welcome back to Forza Horizon 3 and for the first episode of Fueled Up. This is going to be my car review series in which I take any of the new cars which is in the game and just review them as the as I just said. So yeah, I'm very, very, very hyped to get started with this one. It is the Holden Malou HSV GTS. Probably one of the most Australian vehicles you can ever get. And if you're wondering what camera I'm in right now, it's actually the drone mode, which is immensely cool. It's really, really cool for just panning around the car and stuff like that. But yeah, look at the scenery and everything. Look at that. That is incredible. You can fly all the way up and everything. Up to here. Try not to hit a sign. Bloody hell. Knocking these all out, but it looks absolutely phenomenal. But anyway, getting to the main reason why we are here, we're going to be driving the Malou today along a very nice piece of road. But first off, I need you to hear this thing because holy moly, it's probably one of the best cars I have ever heard. <laughs> Just the deep grumble mixed with the supercharger wine is incredible, but let's go! Burning the tyres, this is my first time driving this, so I'm getting the fresh experience for you guys, because when I was at the Playground Games event in London a couple of weeks ago, I actually chose the Widebody S15, so it's my first time driving this, and I have been dying to, and I've got to remember, you Australians drive on the left. Yeah, it feels kind of different from other games, if you know what I mean, doing that, so I really, really need to get used to it, but I've got my custom license plate and everything on it, and I am ready to roll, so apparently, according to a certain Tomcat, this is meant to be one of the best roads in the game, I'll judge that for myself, because I love to go cruising, but anyway, first impressions of the Malou, it's a slight roly-poly car, as you can probably tell, because there's no weight over the back, obviously, because it is a big freaking, basically a pickup truck, if you want to call it that. I know it's called a ute, but it's basically a pickup truck. And since there is no weight over the back of it, you can get sideways like mental. Seriously, I've seen some gameplay from Alex when I was down at the Horizon Festival, not the Horizon Festival, the Horizon event, and he was getting sideways in the thing. So yeah, a very, very fun car, but... Immediately I'm getting flashbacks to Horizon 2 with this coast road. God damn it was gorgeous. This is all I'm going to be doing, is just exploring, but... Anywho, wall tapping, wall tapping, there he is. I'm trying to think, will we go for fourth gear in this one? <laughs> it, I, I know it's going to sound a little bit strange, but it could do with a little bit more power going around these corners. Oh yeah, that's more like it. Man, this is... Look at that! Look at all the ships and everything. I'm trying not to get distracted. I know this is a car review, but... Anywho, this thing pumps out round about 576 horsepower, which I've mentioned before is a bit more than a BMW M6. How do I know that? Top gear. <laughs> so yeah, it's not a slouch by any means, but by far the best thing about this car Apart from the slide, the sideways going to say and the mental looks is that noise. Can't go over it. I mean, when I picked the car, I was like, no way, that's just got to be cutscene noise. They couldn't have put that into the game. And it is. It is. Freaking sweet. Peter Griffin, where are you? It's freaking sweet, man. But I think we're limited to where we can go now. Because I'm not too sure if we got that way. Maybe change up the second gear for a roundabout drift. Yes! And it handles it very well. I mean, you've got to be on the power a little bit in second gear just to keep it going, I can feel. Because it starts to run out of revs. I can circle back around this way. This looks amazing, this road. Look at the curves and shit. Sorry if I'm a little bit giddy and a bit hyper, guys. It happens when a new game is out. I think it happens to all of us. Now let's check out the interior. I've not actually went in here yet. That wine? Did you hear it? 
Holy moly, that is good. Oh, it's, a, it's a bad boy car, man. Seriously, pushing a bad boy, mate. Oh, it's good. But for a big old thing like this, it actually handles the road pretty well. Excuse me, Mercedes. I'm trying to drive this thing here. Don't need you in my way. But I'm loving the diversity of this map. Even though it's only the demo, uh, in the actual Playground Games event, I didn't really go up to the Outback, so I've still got to explore that. Tell you what, we're going to actually circle back around because I think this is the road which you go on at the start. It's very good. It's very nice. What's up there? I'm questioning everything. It's like a big exploration thing. I'm on the wrong side of the road again! Damn it! <laughs> God damn it, I need to get used to this so much, but... Yeah! The... Oh shit, Whoa, what the fuck? What the fuck? Have I went out of bo- No, damn it! I've went out of bounds already. Motherfucker. Right, I'm gonna have to follow the road in which I've been given. Can I not go that way? Can I go around the other way? I think I can. Can I? Is it off-road or just- No, it's not. Ah, it is off-road! Holy shit, right, okay. We're going off-road on the blue board. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's that? Ooh, look at that lake. This isn't so much a car review anymore, it's like the sights and sounds of Australia with EK and his Malu. Speechless. Absolutely speechless. But anyway, I'm trying not to get distracted anymore with the environment. And the car itself, as I said, handles its well. <laughs> fucking hell! It handles its well pretty well, apart from going over bumps like that. That was pretty damn complex suspension there. You can see it just bouncing up and down. Watch this. Floppy doppy, that's what it's like. And the water. Now, one thing I've noticed as well about Horizon 3 is that when you're on the gravel, it doesn't really affect the speed as much as it done in Horizon 2. Oh god. <laughs> Landing that one. Drift it. Yes. Rainforest drifting. This is insane. And apparently that it is. Oh my god! Oh Jesus! Oh <laughs> Fucking hell! Holy shit, I didn't see that coming. Well apparently there is meant to be a one mega front bumper for this thing. Kinda makes it look like a transformer, but so far so good. The Malu is definitely living up to my expectations. As I said, could do with a bit more power. Apart from that. In terms of getting sideways, it's a beast. In terms of just general handling, if we fix the suspension to be a bit more harder, then I can see this thing coming showing some super cylinders up, man. Pretty crazy. Who's that? Malu brother! There's a Malu brother over here! Oh yes! But what? Wow, 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 why, why? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can we get in here? Can we go in this lake and this thing? Oh, we can! Oh, right, okay. <laughs> I'm slightly drowning the car now. I'm slightly drowning the car. This is epic. I mean, if you guys can't... I, I can't even speak. If you guys don't find this epic, then I don't know what's wrong with you. In fact, we're going through a freaking kind of river in a Malu pickup truck. Or you... <laughs> Hold on a minute, hold on a minute, I need to do this, I need to do this. Holy shit, look at that. That is, it, it blends in with the environment, look at that. I'm going to take a photo for the thumbnail, man. <laughs> Holy shit. That is mega. Oh my god. And here we see the wild Malu in its natural habitat, getting drowned in a fucking lake. But I think I'll do. Not too sure, but there we go. Look at that. And thanks, Playground, because this feature right here is fucking genius. The fact we get a move around the watermark is so much more helpful now. So I'm going to leave it where it is anyway. Um, I'll have the picture available on the Elgato. God damn. God damn, man. So good. But if you, ha if you have any cars that you want me to drive in the full game when it comes out, guys, and let me know in the comment section below because yesterday night I was just making ideas for this game and I've got over 30 custom car builds 
ready to go. Not not been recorded yet, but you know what I mean. I've got the ideas down, so I am just dying to get going when the game finally comes out. It's just mega. I'm on the wrong right. Seriously, seriously. Fucking hell. Take a shot every time that I'm on the wrong side of the road in this game. Jesus. That's when I'm on the road, at least. Oh, you fucking bad car, man. You bad, bad car. You naughty car. Love it. Oh, we found a sign. Found a sign. What is this? There's an XP. Give me that, please. I hope you did that on purpose. These bonus boards are hidden all over Horizon Australia. Smashing them earns you a reward. In this case, an XP boost. Okay then, that's, that's good. So, basically get points, as usual, for women knocking down the signs and stuff. I'm just enjoying the scenery, man. I'm just enjoying the scenery, so... Can we go back onto the actual roads? I don't know if we can just fast travel anywhere. A bit of a pain in the arse if we can't. Uh, we'll go... We'll try and fall this one back down. I need to go the other way, I guess. Shit. Fuck it, you know what? Let's go right through the rainforest. No limitations this time, sonny boy. No limitations. There we go. That was a very big shortcut. Uh, is there a road down here? Yes, it is. It's a road. I thought it was a freaking stream, but it isn't. Let's take this one. Thank you very much. Turn back on TV again. I mean, what guy, what cars are you going to cruise with most guys? I can see myself definitely cruising in this line because it's a big hunk of a car and, oh shit, I've not been on this road yet, hold on, hold on, hold on man. Yeah, um, it's a big hunk of a car and if you want to have fun in it, you can just mash, off, mash the throttle and within seconds you will be having a whale of a time. Can, look at the oldies here. I mean, do you mind? Get out my way. I'm an old man in your sand, man. <laughs> Jesus. I really need to get this thing sideways now. Handbrake. Oh, yes. <laughs> now, I don't know the actual width of the tyres on this thing. They feel pretty damn wide. Because it wants to grip as well. You we can feel it. Which is a surprise. Like it. I'm break, I'm break, I'm break, I'm break. Yes, don't hit the GMC. Thank you very much. This is, a, this is a really good area for drifting, man. Especially if you're in third gear, don't hit the tree. Oh. Well, that was a surprise. <laughs> they actually collapsed in this game now. Yes. Yes, man. I know they've done it in Horizon 2, so don't say that in the comments. But you know what I mean. That looked like a big, sturdy tree. I never thought it was going to collapse. Gear. Right, okay, let's give you my final impressions of the Malou pickup truck. Even though it was a short drive, I am freaking in love with it and I think we're back to where we started. We are, aren't we? <laughs> but yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions on the big Malou guys. I, as I said, I love it to bits and I probably will be doing a drift build with it or maybe an even bigger review on it. But I'm quite happy with the way this one turned out. Oh! 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 <laughs> oh! That was perfect! That was perfect! Okay, hold on. Hold on, I might be getting... It might be extending the video, guys. We're coming into Byron Bay. A really good area for drifting. Spent most of my time here at the Horizon 3 event. Oh shit, I'm on the wrong road again! No! Shit! Oh. Sorry for making all these noises, guys. I really, really am, but when you're excited and when you're being yourself and when you're just hyped up, that's just me, man. That's just me. Oh, God. Now, every sign in the land. Is, that, is this a drift? Right, this is a drift zone. Right, okay. I should have known that. Huh? Eh, no bad, idea. thanks then. Fans don't come to Horizon to cheer for traction control. <laughs> oh, that's one of the best phrases. Fans don't come to Horizon to cheer for traction control. You're goddamn right, Missy. You're goddamn right. I like her. I like her. I think she's one of my favourite women Horizon people. 
She's good. Plus, she's got an Irish accent. And hello. This is the sort of alleyways I was talking about, guys. How narrow they can get. Freaking sweet, bro. But anyway, thank you very much for watching this episode of Fueled Up, guys. Let me know if you like the name and just the general style of the video and everything. I want to keep these reviews like one take and everything because that just shows you my natural reactions to the car. So, yep. Thank you very much for watching. If you do want to follow me on any of my social media stuff, then the links are in the description below. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Car Throttle, and whatever else I've got down there. And also subscribe if you are brand new. And yep, see you in my next one, guys. Peace. Whoa, okay. Fucking GMC. Some bitch.